Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking in. Thank you for your likes, overwhelming comments, positive, negative. They are always welcomed. Apart from the insults, we don't take insults. And we don't insult, but hey, you people insult me sometimes. <laughs> you insult me so much, but it's okay. That's life. That's how we know that we are growing. Down here, why am I struggling with this micro... Is it what? It's a microphone. It's a micro what? <laughs> Why am I struggling so much with this thing? Anyway, guys, thank you so much, my subscribers, for always coming back to check on me. Thank you, my uh, returning subscribers, my premier gang members, keyboard reactors, and also the moderators who always make sure that this channel is running. Thank you so much for your love and support. Wow. Have you checked my store? Kindly do check and pick anything that you feel is good for you just to support this channel am carol we have uh hoodies we have t-shirts for the design men we have sweaters as well we do have mugs and some bags string bags okay pick anything that you feel is good for you and just support this channel am carol and i say thank you in advance we move we move and where do we move we always move to Nyabohansi before we go to Jamaica and any other place that we are sent to go from our streets from YouTube. We move to Nyabohansi. We are always moving to Nyabohansi because our YouTube analytics usually send us there. You check on your analytics, it's telling you for your for you to do well, go back to Nyabohansi. <laughs> for your people to listen to you, go back to Nyabohansi. You know. Those moments when you just want to run away from all the shenanigans and the no and the noise and the chaos that are happening over there, it will always send you back to your hands. And I'm like, wow, what can I do? Let me go back and feed my people because, you know, this is what uh, is supposed to be. I've been running around in the streets, but I haven't collected that much. But let's just discuss about a few things. First of all, I had. Hmm, let me see where to start from. Let me see where to start from. Max was talking about Sir Edwards. <laughs> this issue. There's no way you can even run away from it, right? Hey, I've been trying, but I just find myself back to it. This Nyabohanse uh, Sir Edwards issue. You know, people have always wanted me to say what they want me to, to say. You know, they... they I don't know, guys. I don't know how to put it. Like, there's a way people want me. Not all people. Some people want me to say what they want, which is not right. Listen, you have your own opinion. I respect it. I have my own uh, opinion as well. Respect it. How come I'm the one who is respecting your own opinion, guys, in the comment section? But some of you cannot respect my opinion. You hurt me so much. You really hurt me. You really hurt me. <laughs> I'm heartbroken. I am heartbroken. But by the end of the day, it is life. My opinion is my opinion. You know, I can't change what I'm thinking just because someone else wanted me to say this or not to say that. You get. My opinion will always remain to be my opinion. Unless otherwise. If I have some other things to release, I will release definitely. Now, Max one says that he was the one to get this contract. Hey, I told you guys, the truth is coming out slowly, slowly, slowly. The truth has to come out. You know, we are questioning all these things and people have to come out and tell us the truth. Max One is saying that Sir Edwards had prepared this project for him and they had discussed everything and everything he had looked for the piece of land and then sir edwards told him okay uh actually the man is not sir edwards that the name sir edwards was formed by fellow fellow was told to use a different name so fellow came up with the name sir edwards <laughs> my dad sir edwards okay so sir edwards is a fake name according to what max was telling us that he was this one who was supposed to do this project. Then the man told him, wait a little bit. 
uh, let me put myself together because I have some health issues and blah, blah, blah. So Max is sitting there waiting for this man to come back so that they can start the project that they had discussed. Then, just the other day, he's real, realizing that fellows given that project long time ago, he never knew that the Sir Edwards they're always talking about is the same man that he was talking about. <laughs> Hey, hey, guys, the confusion, the confusion. You know, when he was talking, I was just listening. In the comment section, people came and told him, you see, this is how these foreigners, they come to play with your minds. I think this is the same, same thing I talked about because from the beginning, I knew it. I knew it from the beginning. Now, the man is talk was talking to Max One. And then he felt like, no, Max One is not the right candidate for this. And then he chose Fellow the Boy. Now he's finding out that Fellow the Boy is not the right candidate for this. Now he's choosing Mike. Now what will happen with Mike? You see? So when he started pulling all those receipts, he formed the WhatsApp group. I told you about the WhatsApp group. Max has come out to agree with me that, yes, there was a WhatsApp group that was formed. <laughs> I told you. You say, Caro, oh, Caro, you see, you're saying these things. Now you are the one igniting this fire, blah, blah, blah. I told you from the beginning there was a WhatsApp group. You don't want to listen to me. <laughs> you don't want to believe me. Max said there was a WhatsApp group. In that WhatsApp group, that man formed, and then he released all fellow the boys' documents in that group. All the receipts that you saw Masubo reacting on, they were released in that WhatsApp group. The WhatsApp group that was done with only three people. Max One, Masubo, and Ernest. Ernest and Max One, they refused to work with those receipts because they felt something was not right. Masubo! <laughs> Someone said that AM Carol and Masubo are fighting. I cannot fight Masubo, my friend. <laughs> Masubo, Masubo, my friend. Masubo, my friend, he decided to do it anyway. People choose to do different things, definitely. But those things were sent in the WhatsApp group. And then later, the WhatsApp, after releasing all this, those, those things there, the man, you know, deleted everything. I mean, he deleted everyone from the group. He left them with those messages. And then the WhatsApp group was gone. So he was like, I'm releasing all this to the reactors. Now, for me, my question is, why was he releasing those uh, receipts for those reactors in the village, knowing very well that these ones are same brothers in that village, causing all those fights that you saw? And then they come and say, oh, it's Carol who caused those fights. <laughs> why couldn't he release those uh, receipts somewhere else? Why release in the in the village? Now Max One is coming to say that, oh, listen guys, me, <laughs> I couldn't use those receipts. There's no way I could I could do that. Because this is the man that I was supposed to work for. If I would have if I would have worked for him, he would have done the same thing for me. Now he's releasing these things here for me to start reacting on. When they started doing the, these things with fellow, they were so secretive and quiet. Now things are not going well. It's the time now they are coming. You see. People now reasoning in the village. Maybe you should listen to Max One first. I was only flabbergasted and very shocked. I can say I was very shocked. Uh, when, because the name that you are using on the channel, talking, wasn't the name Sir Edward. The name is different from Sir Edward. I think this Sir Edward came, maybe fellow the boy, decided to call him Sir Edward, yeah. But the name that used to comment in my channel wasn't the one known as Sir Edward. So my family, me, I was shocked because me, I, I thought uh, my brother, the way maybe he had promised that Max One, you just wait, I'm going to reach on you and tell you what we shall do when I'll be ready. So me, I'd been waiting so patiently maybe to, uh, for my brother, maybe one day, maybe when he, he, because me, as I've said, I always take people seriously, my people seriously. Once 
someone has said, I'll do this, I usually say that is serious. Uh, I was shocked, my, 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 my family, on the date of 13th of this December, uh, when this, my elder brother, sent me some documents in the form of evidence. Uh, and the documents were, were saying that mm, fellow the boy has scammed me this and this. So I was shocked because I never knew this uh, Edward is the same person that you are communicating with. Maybe that one day is going to to buy land here, build. So when I read out those all documents, the only thing that I told him is that oh you had given the project to fellow the boy because you never told me that you are giving the project to fellow the boy uh, because you told me just to wait but that is not bad uh, i'm even shocked now that maybe things are missing now you've seen the mess and now you are you are sending me the evidence uh he told me yes max one I'm the same same person whom we had agreed that you are the one to do that project. But later on, when I came from the surgery, uh, I met this young man, fellow the boy, and he said he is an orphan. And when I was celebrating my birthday, I remember on 12th of December, he commented and wished me a happy, happy, happy birthday. But me, I didn't know that he was the one now building here. So, my people, if you are in my shoes, actually, what would you have done? Because this was like a stroke. This was like something that came unexpected, you know? Uh, why am I saying that? You can imagine you being a friend to someone for maybe six to seven months. Uh, and after maybe seven months, he sends you some documents that all have been scammed. Oh, you know the project that I intended to do have been scammed this amount of money. So me, actually, that thing never came in my head very well. You know? And me, I want to say that I have no problems with Sir Edward, actually. I have no problem with Sir Edward. And I want to say that that project, the way Fellow did it, me, it is like I would have done it because Fellow is my brother, you know. So me, I, I would have no time maybe to talk to Sir Edward because he never told me. He kept so silent until when things were in a mess. That is when now he came out and sent me some documents. But when the project was going on, when he was sending money to him, he never told me anything. He never informed me that, that Max won. Now I'm building the the house but i've given your brother fellow the boy hmm? so my good people that thing never came to me very well i know you might be saying oh max one why didn't you uh, react to, uh, to to fellow the boy why didn't you react to 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 sir edward I want to come very clear today and say, me, I have no, maybe, grudges with anyone. As I said earlier in my video, the evaluation has to take place. If Sir Edward feels like he, he don't trust his son anymore because fellow calls Sir Edward his son, you know? Uh, if he feel like he was scammed, he should come. Or, even when he was sending the money, he was not in the village. He was not coming in the village. So, he should use another, maybe, way of him doing evaluation. It's not necessary that he must come in the village. You know? So, that was it, my people. That There's more on this twist that has been said about this thing because a lot of these villagers are talking about this whole thing and it's been a very complicated issue uh they said oh a thief is a thief yes i do agree a thief is a thief and a donator is also a donator 
<laughs> a thief is a thief. A donator is a donator. When you decide to start uh, sending in money, you know, to do projects illegally as well, it's, it's very dangerous, you know, it's very dangerous. So now coming out to straighten that, it's going to cost a lot of money. The money that this man has been running away from, you know, in the comment section, I saw someone saying that, oh, maybe he thought that using this kind of uh, sending money to these people, cheap labor and stuff, maybe he couldn't get that in Trinidad. And that is why he was sending to Kenya, blah, 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 blah. Guys, me, I respect your opinion. I definitely de respect your opinion. So I'm not going to get into that. That is their own and it's their own. Whoever scammed and whoever was scammed, they all have issues at the same time. You know, we talk sometimes about the scammers in Yabohansi that do things differently. People do things differently. If you remember the issue about the GoFundMe, we always talk about it. That's a different thing. You know, we, we always talk about this GoFundMe with Aaron and Marwa and the one that Dimwango did in Philippines, people sending in money and blah, 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 blah. This is something that is so different. People give their money willingly if they don't want they don't want if they want to report they report and the thing is closed but this one was a personal thing this was a very personal thing two people privately sending in money and doing their own projects privately when they start messing up oh carol you have not said this now carol why can you say this why carol are you covering this Oh, Karo now is tribal. Oh, Kakamega is in. Oh, all those things. <laughs> Please, you people be realistic. In the comment section, I came across this thing that I want to talk about. Uh, someone came and twisted this whole story and said, tell your village people, someone was telling Max one, tell your, tell your village people to stop using Kathleen and Frida to make money. Kathleen and Frida are the two ladies that lost their lives. Marwa posts it on Facebook and now the family is expecting some donations to bury the sisters. The family need 4 million shillings to bury the two. The family have spoken on Cyprus TV saying they hope people will assist them because they saw it all over YouTube and Facebook. Marwa have to make a group of donations to go give the family, but not posting her on Facebook. Guys, I don't know what you think about this. Now, since these ladies died, people are talking about it. Everyone, including me, we all talked about it, right? We all talked about it. But now going to an extent, even posting them on facebook until now people are posting people are still posting people are still talking people are still making videos and all this all this when this lady died i told i made a video and i told this boys from Nyabohansi. it's high time you guys you come together and do something at least for this family because almost all of you did videos with this lady why can't you come together and do something different at least for once that was my message to them now this person is saying, tell your people, Max One, to stop making money on the dead sisters. Imagine Marwa posting all these things on Facebook. That is the least he could do for this family, for this lady. Instead of Marwa pulling people together in the village, just the same way, if he was able to pull everyone together for the party, what about this lady? Uh, at least to get the, all, all the people that were there, Marwa has their contacts. If he doesn't have, he had a PA, right? He had a PA, he had an ex-PA. They can put people together to donate money to help this family. And this is what this person is saying. Instead of posting the dead on his Facebook page, posting for what exactly? I could not understand. What did he say? 
you know the person was writing here he seems to be very very upset about this whole this whole thing why is he posting instead of doing what is supposed to be done right now it's okay sometimes for posts when they lose their loved ones they post but at least on the ground they're doing something to help they're doing something to help you understand and this is how we do things in africa guys this is how we, i know people might ask me oh they never had insurance for this insurance for that this is africa whenever something like this has happened we always come together we collect some money to help even the people who are left in the family you understand this is how we do things here in africa and i think that is why this person did this so the question is what is marwa and the rest of the youtubers in the village doing about this what are they doing they should be at least helping the family they've been with this lady for how many months there making videos and helping her on abcd she has become even part of their family according to what he said also in the videos when he was with her so what is he going to do about it just posting her on facebook for what and the family members are seeing these things and they're expecting oh since everyone is talking about it on youtube and facebook and everywhere maybe they are planning something to do to help us at least i called out and i am calling out at least for those people who went <laughs> in the village for the party for those people who've been there in the party in the party in the village party you guys you should do something about this at least show something show show people that you people are different at least for once just forgetting about all the shenanigans we have rich people over there you can even use your subscribers because you're so much used to that calling out if these people were able to call for gods and cows and cement all these powerful things that were coming over there what about small small money to help the the funeral why are they not calling out for that hmm? they were calling for subscribers all over the place please please subscribe please they can do the same please guys they can get one member one family member where they can be get, sending all that money to to be helping at least in the family during these hard times it's so sad you know it's so sad when this man uh is it a man i think it's a man who wrote that and told max one tell these people to help the bereaved family because it's not looking good posting them just like that just like that there's also an issue that was raised that there is a mzungu old woman in the village that was left there after the party that he has, she has married a she's she's married a young boy <laughs> now this one me i expected it i expected it. in fact this is what maro had planned initially from the beginning there were some wazungus that were supposed to come the men will be picking the ladies and then the lady all the ladies will be picking the boys that was the plan why are people shocked Eh? Why are people shocked that there are some mzungu coming to to stay with boys teaching them what teach teach what <laughs> What is it What is it that they want them to teach You see the whole village they have exposed themselves to the world as poor people they're always begging they're always coming this is the picture that they have shown out there so they have attracted these people to come in according to them they say the the the, the, the broke mzungu <laughs> the broke mzungu has to come in they just want to use them as they also use the other mzungu you understand oh i want my videos my mzungu to appear in my videos and the mzungu wants something from them like that that life in the village Dirty life in Yabuhanse village. Hey, guys, have you seen? Everyone is going to Jamaica. Jamaica. I, in fact, guys, I've packed my bags. I'm going to Jamaica. I'm not joking. 
I'm not joking. Yo. I've packed my bags like yo. I'm going to Jamaica like yo. Seriously. I'm going to Jamaica. A D Mwango is in Jamaica. She's been living there. She has extended her visa. She's not coming out of Jamaica. Something in, is in Jamaica. Not just Jamaica, but in the whole Caribbean. There is something there that YouTubers, most YouTubers have noticed. And they don't want to get out of that place. I'm telling you, there is something. But I won't tell you what it is. But there is something. I know there is something. Um, when I say something, I mean something to do with YouTube. You know, it's all about business, guys. When you see these people traveling from this place to the other, going, it's all about YouTube and making money. That's what I mean. So, the Coco family, Coco boy, Coco girl, Coco Coco, they're all now in Jamaica. They know. You know, they communicate and they tell each other, oh, you know what? Here, things are like this. These views, they come with some chocolate and uh, some sweets on top of it. It's not just like that. They know what they're doing. Uh, also, African Tigress has joined them also in Jamaica. Hey, hey, who else is coming to Jamaica? The Mayas, well, the Maya and Miss Trudy, they're in the Caribbean. Maybe they're joining as well. But guys, I'm telling you, there is something that is so sweet in the Caribbean as we speak. Hmm. You have no idea. So for that reason, I've also decided to pack my bags. If you're ready, let's go. Let's go to Jamaica. <laughs> eh? Let's go to Jamaica. You see the mango and the fitness uh, boyfriend. <laughs> I was checking that boy. <laughs> I was checking him out. After listening to his accent the other day, I, I've been checking him out. You know, I, I'm, I'm really following him and everything. And I'm thinking about so many things, but I just don't want to say much because, you know, we are here to, we are here to see these things. If anything has to be unveiled, definitely we will see. We will notice and we'll bring it out. You know, I came and I said, oh, this is how it is. People are insulting me. <laughs> Guys, it is what it is. This is how it is. This is what it is. I never woke up one day and just, you know, thought of, let me talk about Dimwango. Dimwango pulled out. He said that this is what she wants in 2024. She wants someone to make her laugh. She wants someone who is making her laugh. She's so happy talking to this boy and everything. And looking at this whole thing, according to, <coughs> this was a friend before because we've been following her for a long time and we know we know this boy from kenya even before he traveled to the u.s the boy is in the u.s right now and as usual in the comment section when i had people talking they said ah maybe dimango wants also to use him on something you know those comments that you always leave in the comment section they give me so many ideas and i'm like ah, okay what is she thinking? Because this boy is in the U.S. right now. What is she thinking? And she's in Jamaica and she doesn't want to go back home. Now she's she's been exploring Africa and Asia and Europe. Is she thinking about going to America? Then this boy should be the first person. This man, this gym guy, should be the first person, you know, to connect her. To the U.S. If she wants to go there. She said she would want to go there this year. So you might not know. You know you are giving me so many ideas. When you write those comments. In the comment section. So now she's looking for some old friends. In the U.S. So that she can know where to start from. And the first thing is. Boost my channel. I boost yours. It's so simple. <laughs> that is why she had to pull those videos or those pictures on her Instagram. And then people went running, checking on this boy. Before you know it, guys, Dimongo will be in the U.S. Do you know how she reached there? This is how she reached there. She's so cunning. I told you this girl is so smart. 
she's so smart she 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 pulls everything together for her own good and i just see some smoke somewhere something like that cooking cooking somewhere but meanwhile let them be posting each other on instagram let the boy be doing his own thing we are watching him now we are watching him keenly we are following because that is what we are here to do if you're worried about oh karo should go and do something else this is what i'm here to do at least for now forget about advising me on what to do just just forget about that if you can't watch you can't watch if you can watch watch if you want to listen listen because this is what we are here to do we follow these things up we check what has been posted out there publicly we analyze we criticize we expose we agree we disagree respectively okay that's it for today guys at least we have gisted enough okay that is it for today so if you haven't checked on my store kindly check and pick anything that you want to uh pick just to support this channel am carol and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed hit on this notification bell so that every time i upload a new video you'll be uh, you'll be among the first people to be notified like this video leave your comments down below share it if you can and let's meet on the next one